Welcome back guys to another Steam Deck video, or Steam OS, or Steam video, where we're talking about the new big picture mode that was recently introduced to Steam. They finally made a couple of updates. It's still having issues with NVIDIA users. So those of you that have a gaming PC with an NVIDIA graphics card, there might be some issues, but they're slowly fixing it and they're slowly replacing the old big picture mode with the new Steam Deck UI. Let's get into it and let's see the updates. Let's see what they've changed, right? Just a small video, let's get into it. So if you haven't seen my older videos, we talked about this, okay? Um, if you were a gaming PC user and you were running Windows and you wanted a, a sleek, TV-suited, game console-esque user interface, interface, interface to access your games, load your games, browse for new games on the store and stuff like that, all you had at your disposal was the, the old big picture mode, which was designed like 10 years ago. I'm not even kidding. It was designed like 10 years ago or seven years ago, seven or 10 years ago. Um, and it was very antiquated, right? Um, well, Steam's been working on, or Valve has been working on bringing over their Steam Deck UI, which as you know, is pretty damn, pretty damn nifty. Um, to everyone, whether you whether you have a Steam Deck or not, right, um, and whether you're running Steam OS or not, and they're slowly, slowly eking it out and trying to replace the old big picture mode on Windows. Well, they've this I, this is what it looks like. It basically just looks like the Steam Deck UI, right? Mm -hmm. um, except, of course, for the fact that you're picture. Um, running Windows. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's the old big picture mode. It was a little bit old. I mean, it, it looks all right as far as like a, a console from like 2007 goes, but um, obviously we want something a little bit more modern and obviously we got the Steam Deck UI. Well, they have posted an update for it. So if you, um, oh, let me post it, pause that. So if you were having any issues with it, hopefully some of these bug fixes help. So while Valve continues working towards replacing the old big picture mode from the UI, from the Steam Deck, um, a few more fixes are in the new Steam client beta. Um, and like I said, there's an issue with NVIDIA graphics cards. So let me know in the comments if you're having an issue with that. Um, but anyway, any, if you have a gaming PC or you have Windows, even if you have Windows on your Steam Deck, I highly recommend you go watch my old video and find out how to toggle this on so you could access the Steam Deck UI on Windows because it just looks so crispy, so clean and so modern. So general, fix the size of con fix the size of content and update news dialogue when running Windows Tech Scaling 100. Um, yes, that's been an issue I had when I installed it f in the first place. Um, content was sometimes like weird, weirdly small and, um, and sometimes Images were scaled out of proportion, so they were a little bit pixely, unlike the Steam Deck, where everything's like HD, right? Um, new big picture mode fixed the crash when they fixed the crash when touching gift or new inventory item notification. Um, okay, so if you touch a gift or a new inventory item notification, big picture mode crashed. Never ran into that issue. They fixed the show password toggle to show and hide the password. So if you were typing your password in and it wasn't like you see the password you were typing in, that is now fixed. Very cool. The fixed on-screen keyboard no longer showing when requested by the game or Proton. Very nice. That's a nice little addition there. Cool. That's one of my biggest gripes about the Steam Deck is the freaking on-screen keyboard. They never have... I feel like every time I want to use it, and I try and toggle it by pressing Steam and X, it just never, it just never pops up. Or it does pop up like 10 seconds later. Maybe not 10 seconds. Um, Steam input, the fixed rumble for Switch Pro controllers attached over USB. Very nice. And for Linux, Steam client on Linux, fixed overlay caused fixed overlay causing crashes on some native games, aka Borderlands 2. All right. So I, I take that back. Sorry, the general thing here where they fixed the content in the update news dialog when running Windows tech scaling 100%. That is for the Steam client, not for the Steam Deck or Big Picture mode. My bad. But there you go. A small little bite sized update regarding the Steam Deck or the Steam beta client update. So if you're running Steam on Windows or Linux um, and you're on the beta channel for updates, you'll obviously know you have the new the new big picture mode that looks like Steam Deck UI. But there's a bunch of new little updates here and there. Valve are always pushing out updates for Steam. And that's what I love about Valve, man. They're unlike any like they're they're slowly dipping their toes into the hardware, the gaming hardware market. I mean they've been making some accessories peripherals here and there for years, but every now and again, like once every five years. But the Steam Deck is something brand new and I love how they're getting into hardware. And they're prowess when it comes to software and updates and just bug fixes and stuff it's just unlike anything that i've ever seen i never see playstation putting out updates as fast as valve does or um, xbox or nintendo 
Steam OS on the Steam Deck. It's just came leaps and bounds since it came out earlier this year. You know, I can't believe the 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 pace at which they're updating their software. Um, and I think it really is. It's gonna. It's already in some ways leaps and bounds above, say, the operating system on Nintendo Switch, um, which also runs on Linux, by the way. Um, and in some ways, better than the PS4, PS5. So keep it up valve we love you and um just a bite-sized update for you guys have a good day bye stay tuned like subscribe click the bell icon for more steam deck content or steam content gaming content tech content on your youtube homepage every single day bye guys